The Delhi Lieutenant General VK Saxena has written another letter to the Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal and in the letter which we're going to be quoting right now it says you have made many statements which are misleading and derogatory and untrue on the 16th you were protesting outside of the Rajnivas demanding to meet me with about 70 to 80 people and given the short notice and sudden demand on your part it would have not been possible to at once hold a meeting with 70 to 80 people. We're crossing over to CNN News 18's senior editor Pallavi Ghosh to get us more details. Uh, Pallavi, tell us more about the letter. Uh, well, I mean, uh, this is yet another letter which once again exposes the confrontation between the LG and the Delhi Chief Minister. And frankly speaking, we have been seeing what has been happening inside the Delhi Assembly uh, with the Chief Minister accusing the, uh, the LG of hindering their work, the SG saying, okay, I'm inviting you. Now, in this latest letter which the Lieutenant Governor has written to the Chief Minister, he's trying to prick holes in all the claims and allegations of the Chief Minister saying, I've invited you for lunch, I wanted to meet you. But these are the details that he's given up of instances when there has been dereliction of duty or open allegations against the SG's office when, without any substance to it. I think this is going to add on to the chaos. And if you look at Edwin Kejriwal's tweet a short while back when he talks about the failing law and order situation in Delhi in the context of Swati Marival also facing that kind of a harassment or the streets of the national capital, that confrontation between the two is expected to escalate. All right. Now, would you also be able to give us a bit of an overview, when it, overview of the tussle when it comes to the LG and the Chief Minister? What exactly has been happening over the last week? Because the LG and the Chief Minister did end up meeting a short while ago. Well, I mean, one of the, uh, I think the latest provocation between the two of them is that the Delhi government uh, wants to take uh, education to, to Finland, and that is something which has not got the permission of the LG, and therefore that's one more allegation is coming in from the Delhi Chief Minister that this is yet another instance where the LG is playing politics. I think from the start, there has been no working equations, whether it's the present LG or the previous Anil Dejan. Uh, we've seen, for example, the excise of what's called the liquor day, the entire Tihar jail controversy involving one of the ministers in the Delhi government, Satendra Jain. Uh, you know, the Ahmadi party is accusing the centre and the LG office, through the LG office particularly, uh, of uh, misusing its power in targeting a legitimately elected government. The LG says that all that the chief minister does is make allegations without any substance of work being done on the ground, whether it was a pollution issue, whether it's the excise issue, whether it is, you know, uh, the garbage issue, so on and so forth. So, uh, you know, when your beginning is very uh, uh, shaky, it's very difficult to find a means of communication or interacting with each other positively. So what do you think the way forward is for the LG and the Chief Minister? Because to even have these two uh, very important people politically when it comes to the functioning of Delhi, to have this kind of, uh, these allegations against each other, to have them constantly shoot off letters to each other, it doesn't really bode well when it comes to the functioning of Delhi. What is the way forward here? Well, you know, uh, this is usually happens the case when you have a different government in power at the centre of the state. I mean, you know, Delhi is not even a complete state. And I remember when Sheila Dixit was the chief minister of Delhi, uh, one never saw so much of a confrontation p taking place between the LG's office at that point of time and Sheila Dixit uh, as a CM because both of the governments were uh, or belong to the same party. These are two political parties. Somewhere politics also comes in because AAP is seeing itself as a main contender to the BJP. The BJP is quite wary of the Aam Aadmi Party. We saw that happening in Gujarat. So mm -hmm. there is going to be that flexing of muscles. And if AAP insists that LG represents the BJP, uh, then of course I think there is going to be an element of distrust. There's going to be lack of communication. And the LG winds up his letter by making the point that I'm not speaking as a left hand government. I'm also speaking about a citizen of Delhi. And I don't see any work happening on the ground. Something which is completely rejected by Arvind K. Jewal when he says that, you know, I need help from the LG's office. All that you are doing is providing hurdles and misusing your own office to suit the political agenda of the BJP. All right, Pallavi Ghosh, thank you so much for joining us and for telling us more about the significance and bringing us more context when it comes to this story. We will continue to track the, those developments, but with that, we'll